What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another of my videos. Today we're going to be talking about some new updates, some news, stuff like that that you guys are going to be seeing hopefully sometime in the next Call of Duty this week. Um, now you guys are probably wondering how we actually know about this so far. Um, Activision actually tweeted something. Um, literally last night I actually got a chance to basically try and make this video uh, for you guys so that I could try and put it on the morning. Uh, they actually tweeted something saying this week in Call of Duty... Modern Warfare, more shipment, deathmatch domination, game mode, upcoming tier sale, and more. And then they have stuff for COD Mobile, Season 3 news, Sticks and Stones, multiplayer, game mode, and more. And then they got stuff for Black Ops 4, which I don't really care about. Now, one other thing that they actually said that they are going to update. Um, I'm actually getting all this information from the Activision blog, which I will link in the description below. If you guys want to go check some of this stuff out by yourself, or if you want to see this stuff going on with Black Ops 4, Call of Duty Mobile, all that good stuff. The link will be in the description below, so feel free to go check it out. Now, one of the new things, like I just said, they actually talked about um, that they didn't explain in the actual cover photo of that tweet uh in the actual blog itself it says that um there's actually gonna be a change coming to 2v2 um which is actually a pretty big game mode in this because it's the closest competitive thing that we do have in this game now the thing it does say about the 2v2 game mode it says that the 2v2 tension filled battle is changing its tune when it comes to loadouts instead of being given a loadout at spawn players can choose the uh aramids that they bring into the firefight. Considering how a stage might fare between uh, certain weapon types, then craft your best loadout and head into battle. So basically what this is saying is uh, you're actually going to be able to make your own loadout before the actual 2v2 match is going to start. Now, I don't know if there's going to be certain restrictions or stuff like that that you guys are going to be able to hopefully vote on. Uh, so you guys are having, you know, the best loadouts that everyone gets to actually play with or if it's going to be individual classes that everybody gets to pick. Um, I don't really know. You know, it is going to be pretty interesting. I remember, I think it was in Modern Warfare 3, I believe. Uh, I could be completely wrong. They actually had like a 2v2 map. Uh, and it was actually fun. You had to play your own class. It was basically just playing. It was a, literally a 2v2 game mode. And uh, I'm hoping that's what this turns out to because I am really not a big fan of the pre-made classes that they give you guys. Honestly, it's just it's, you know, for me using an, an LMG that I've never touched before in the game or just running around with like the like one pistol that I've never used. It's it's weird. And honestly, just dying by it is just not my favorite. Uh, so hopefully that is what it is going to be like. Uh, like I said. We don't really know too much about it, so we're just going to have to wait and find out. Now, the next thing they actually talk about in this article is that uh, Deathmatch Domination game mode that they did talk about on that cover tweet. Uh, basically, it says that it combines TDM and Domination into an epic mashup that rewards players for getting kills and playing the objective. Capture a flag and take down the enemies in your path, and both will push your team to victory on the scoreboard. Focus on staying alive while holding objective areas to maximize your team's chances of getting the win. Now, I don't really know how this <laughs> this is going to work, because honestly, what's the difference between Domination and TDM? Is there going to be like a certain amount of uh, kills that you guys have to get, uh, or is it going to be like a score limit for Domination? Because obviously... Uh, regular TDM goes up to 75 and regular domination goes up to what 200 so is there gonna be like a certain amount of score for each that basically whoever gets to which certain one first ends the game I don't really know but honestly that just sounds like basic domination to me so we're gonna have to kind of wait and find out about that now another playlist update because honestly all this game does is do playlist updates because they just you know there's things wrong with the game that they decide not to fix but hey let's change the playlist and hopefully everyone starts loving us um they're actually gonna make uh shipment 24 7 so here it actually says shipment 24 7 plays returns load into this type battleground and rack up kills and xp while playing through a host of game modes so you guys obviously know shipments like smallest map in the game chaos destroyed spawns uh so they're basically bringing back shipment 24 7 for the week i'm assuming the weekend because that's usually how it goes um but like i said for this one too we're gonna have to kind of wait and find out because there is no set date on this it just says sometime this week now for the last thing on actual console call of duty and pc call of duty uh they are coming out with a new bundle to celebrate the lunar new year's um, this bundle features items festively themed to mark the first new moon in the lunar calendar parked with charms uh, emblems, a calling card, two tier skips, and more to get the Lunar New Year bundle in the featured section in the Modern Warfare store. So it's another bundle, basically, uh, you know, anything special. Uh, lastly, it's actually going to say here that um, January 31st at 10 a.m. Uh, Pacific Time, 
to February 3rd, 10 a.m. Pacific time. They're actually going to have a sale for the tiers in Modern Warfare. I'm assuming this is for the Battle Pass. Um, but he, here it says that you can get the inv individual tiers in Modern Warfare for 100 CP and, and check the uh, Just For You section of the store to get tier bundles on sale. So whenever the time comes, if you guys are still slacking on that battle pass, you're going to be able to basically buy some of those tiers you've been lacking on. Because honestly, I'm one of them. I've been lacking on them, uh, but I'm definitely not going to buy them. That's, that's for a fact. I am not giving this game any more money. Uh, until they start fixing some of this stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, put my like comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think about this update. Honestly, if, if you guys think that they should start changing something in the actual game, you know, just do like an actual game update, let me know in the comment section below. I'm interested to see what you guys think that they should actually fix in this game instead of doing some playlist updates. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, follow me on social media links down in the description below. Like I said, the blog will be in the link, so feel free to go check that out. I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out, guys.